Have you heard Humble? Wow. Have you heard Humble by Kendrick? Humble. I, yeah. Shh. You can't say shit. I can't say much about it. Hey. You can't say shit. It's great. Have you, have you seen screenshots from the visuals? Nope. I mean, I've seen a screenshot. Yeah, like his head. I've on heard fire. people say best, right. best video 2017 so Shh. far. Best, oh, best video decade. Shh. Holy shit. I'm really? Sorry. Techniques. The techniques <laughs> that the director uses, man. The DOP on that. TD yeah. just got a lock on down, man. Man. So I've heard the heart part four about because I haven't listened, been able to listen to any other Kendrick. I've heard the heart part four about twenty five times yeah. since it released. Um, very, very impressed with that track. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot's going on. Very intelligent. Now he's it's April seventh today. We're in here. We came here because we thought the album was gonna drop. Get your he said get your get ready. Oh, Are we ready? And it's not drop. Okay, pre order link. We got ready for the pre order link. I don't even pre order albums anyway. <laughs> the album's called album. Might not be called album. It's not. But right now it's called album with a black cover. Yeah. We got seven days. He could do the Metallica did the black album. He could. He but might he's, already, but he's already done Untitled Unmastered. Would he want to do it again? He might. I don't feel like that's Kendrick. Well, what do you think is Kendrick? What do you think in seven days we're going to be hearing? Well, you know, well, I think we're going to be hearing something. Well, I haven't heard Humble, so I don't know what to expect. Oh, but Guys. I just feel like Kendrick's, Kendrick's the sort of artist that like I feel like Kendrick's gonna follow okay. in Dre's footsteps yeah. and really switch it up in terms of, instead of like why play Dre's Compton album because that was okay but like Dre would like uh, why can't I remember the name of this album Dr. Dre's first album The Chronic obviously well, The Chronic like he, that changed the we way just he, totally left him hanging there yeah. like come on man it, just ch <laughs> it changed the way that like hip hop was and then with The Chronic 2001 total switch up no one had heard that as well like every time Dr. Dre dropped something it was very different to everything that was previous out and everyone wants to do that shit. I feel like Kendrick's doing that right now. He released Pimp Butterfly. A lot of artists are trying to make more jazz-influenced hip-hop now. Same with uh, Good Kid, Mad City. People try to follow up a lot of like the shit that he did there. <laughs> so I feel like the, with this album as well, he's going to... I don't know what he's going to talk about because he always surprises me. I feel like he's already talked enough about himself. He's already talked about a lot about like sort of... Um, uh, the black culture within America. You so. want to say some It's shit. so good hearing you speak about this and knowing that I've heard Humble. Mm. That's a just, single off it, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. I want to say so much, but I can't. But like, yeah, because it's like, he's already talking <laughs> about like the black history within America. Like, I feel like, is he, is he going to go from like a world scale now? Is there something else that's been pondering his mind for a while? He's just like, going to have to listen to it, bro. Nah, I'm going to wait <laughs> a week, man. But like, I feel like he's sort of asked to have something that we haven't heard from before. And I think that in terms of the beats that he's going to select this album are going to be, they'll probably hold like a bit of like effect from what we've heard beforehand, but something completely different as well. What does this next album do for his legacy? I, think. I mean, he's already. I feel like he's what already. What potential been can it have? I feel like he's already legacy. been cemented, cemented as a legend. Good Kid, Mad City, Tim Butterfly. So I, I think he's cementing. I think he's, he's still, still drying. He's still, he's still, he's still, he's still, I think yeah. if Kendrick Lamar is cement, like the best cement in the world, right? He's still drying. Okay. Well, I gotta, I gotta say this as well. I said this before. Like from Dead End Hip Hop, Mike C Town. Mike C Town <laughs> said that like a lot of artists out there, big artists like Drake and like some of the other big artists, like they, they when they drop things, they, they accomplish things. They accomplish like numbers and goals and mm. like Accolades, big things. But when, awards. When Kendrick dropped things, he astonishes you. Yep. He not only accomplished, he astonishes you when he drops things. Mm -hmm. He's more, he's all about more about that. He ain't concerned with the numbers. He ain't concerned, like sure it helps and stuff. He's all about just, just, you know, getting his message out there in a way that's like his art is just so perfectly just like painted. He said on uh, the Heart Part 4, I am worried about some list. I'm on some other shit. Exactly. The difference between accomplishments and astonishments. That's what he backs it up with. Mm. I mean, Without revealing too much, <laughs> what 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 do you can, what can you expect? Because it's one track. It humbles one track. You know, right. we heard I right off it's the people butterfly. People lost track. their mind thinking yeah, yeah. like, oh, okay. So we, right. Well, I mean, it's uh, I don't know. It's it's a very like it's a very hard track to describe just because of it's it's quite it's quite uh, it's, as an album. What can you what, expect? Okay, what can you expect from that track? What well, not just from that track, but in general, your thoughts even before hearing that track. From before hearing that track, I feel like it was going to come quite aggressive. I feel like just mainly because of the political cl the climate right now in America and how things have changed, I feel like he would have a lot to say in relation to that. Agreed. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that was definitely going to be a topic he was going to cover. And also, I feel like he was going to speak on, you know, like white kids that do the dab. You know, he mentions that in the Heart Part 4. I was like, he's probably going to speak on how hip-hop is becoming such a, a global thing and there's so many, I mean, yeah. Now look at us, like, yeah, right? look where it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's actually... I feel, yeah, like I, he would, I feel like he would cover that a fair bit too because now you look at any kind of top 40 charts, it's dominated by hip-hop. You look at anything, it's dominated by hip-hop. Hip-hop Hi isn't a stage of rock and roll. Yeah, right. right. Hip-hop is, is one of the most important... I think it's one of the most important um, 
modalities of our culture. In every yeah, and not just yeah, not just in music and fashion, but in, in everything that uh-huh. we're doing. So, I mean, it's I think it's going to be big. I think like you were saying, Alex. I can't because you guys haven't had humble, <laughs> but it definitely tackles massive, massive. I think it's going to tackle massive, massive things. That's just what I feel. I feel nice. like that's. I feel like Kendrick's got the level. He's like, wow, I've reached these heights. I can now reach out to this many people. Why speak on something internally? I can speak on something globally when everyone's listening. I think it's going to be a big check. Like it's it's going to be to a lot of people. Just like check yourself and see where you're at. Do we know any? Was there another Kendrick track that track that released? No, no, it's just been, just been humble so far in the heart just been humble, but We all know the heart before is not on the album. Yeah, exactly. So, And also, but I kind of like what we did. Like, it's been Butterfly. He released I, which is very happy and inspiring about loving yourself. Yeah. Then he released Black of the Berry, which is oh my so God. different. And then, but then when he released yeah. the album, he switched up I, and it just, it, I've, I've just never known this an is, artist to release singles like, like that. You guys haven't it humble yet, so I can't say too much, but this is, like <laughs> the most, this is like the most amazing part of the track, though, is because it has, there's a certain energy within the track, and you could see how that would translate to a whole album. But then, like you did with I, yeah, it may not be indicative berry. of what we'll, we'll exactly. hear. Exactly, it could just work. be a section of the album. Yes, like a, maybe a, like a few tracks that will have this kind of vibe. Yes, and then it'll transition into other kind of stuff because the song itself has a lot of different elements. I mean, you guys will hear it for yourselves in a week. Mm. But can we, yeah. can, we book, can we book this? Can we get this place in a week on April fourteenth? Is that possible? I can try. Or maybe even even like within twenty four hours you of want that. The good news yeah, is yeah, I can try. I can try. I got Friday off next week, so we ain't got no time limit. That's exactly a week away, isn't it? Because albums usually drop on Friday. Yeah, yeah, I can try. Thank you. I can't 100% promise, but I can try. Maybe like a 99%. What? Whatever you can do. <laughs> you know, this is... Yeah. We wouldn't be here without you. So whatever you can do is, is like appreciated. Hey, man. Same to you guys. You guys put us on. Just as like a subtle thing. Hey, just wait till, you drop, just that. Wait you, till you drop that album, <laughs> bro. Wait till you drop that new wait shit, Wait till man. you drop that album. We'll see where Low we key, are. Low-key, I listen to Smoke. I think it's got like 20, 25 players, man. I fucking love that song. Oh, no, dude. It's, it's bro, like 900 now, man. She's talking about 20, I mean, like, I mean, I play that many times. Oh, you played it. I was like, oh, you're the reason why the numbers are where it's at then. Hey, it's just been you. I like, fucking love to that track so much. Dude, the guitar no, all over that thing is fucking beautiful. There's some things that we want to speak on with this, but we can't. I'd love to sit mm. down like one time and like maybe do a pre- little prelude or something oh, like man, that. Oh man, absolutely. Yeah. 